How many more variations of Euro jigs are we going to do? The answer, lots, because you can tweak these patterns all over the place and get them to work. This one has a really cool collar on it. So check out this fly. It's a super simple fly to tie. You can tie a whole bunch of them in a bunch of different colors very, very quickly and it just works. Close to the end of the video, I will show you how to make the veil on this fly. Very critical. Dude, that's a big okay, this fly, I've been fishing quite a bit lately. It's a, it's a really cool kind of small profile Paragon type fly, or Paragon hook on the fly. It's not a Paragon type fly. But it's a Euro fly, can be used as a bomb. You can put almost any size bead on this hook. I've chosen a size 16, and this is the Perdi Jig hook from Umpqua. What I like about this is you can see the eye is turned. And the, the importance of the eye being turned is I can put a giant bead like this three and a half mil or even a four on this 16, and it's not gonna slide out off the front of it. All right, so I'm gonna just start with orange thread. And keep in mind, you can do this in a bunch of different colors. Another popular color, and we'll list the recipe for it, involves a pink bead and a tan body. All right, so once that's in, I'm going to do my standard Euro tail. So, Coq de Leon. All right, so a few little tails. We are going to tie those in. Now the highlight of this fly is the Semperfly Gel Core Body Micro Fritz. I'm using dark brown here. Um, this is really cool stuff because it's super, super durable and fairly thin. So you can take this stuff and literally you can't break it because it's spun on a gel core. Anyway, I'm gonna just tie that in right behind the bead and wrap it back to where I want to wrap, go forward, all the way back up to the bead. You know the drill here, I'm just gonna use the rotary tool. Just like that. So, I've done flies where I've used this stuff to substitute for pheasant tail, and it works great. So, the next step here is add a veil. So this is just UV brown ice dub. I'm gonna take a little pinch of it, about like that, and I'm just gonna pinch that on top of the fly, do like two or three loose turns, and then cinch it down, and then just bring all that stuff back. And that's that's a little bit more full than I like it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it, pull it back, and just break it off with my fingers. And then to finish the fly, I'm just gonna put a few more turns of thread, make a little bit of a hot spot, and add super glue, head cement, or whatever you want. But anyway, that's a super easy fly. You can do it in a whole bunch of different colors, and it absolutely crushes fish. Except for Brigham, he sucks.